Uh, and then we decided, okay, let's just build song titles, uh, or just one. Actually, they were just expecting Skull Crusher Mountain. Ah, okay. That was all they'd asked for. Awesome. And then um, I just thought I'd throw in Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> just throw it in. No big deal. It was a it was a good ploy, starting with the fancy pants. Yeah. And thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Normally, I when I build uh, a life size figure, I would glue it all together, pants and top Maybe. included, mm -hmm. uh, just it makes it easier on transport. Um, okay. When it's all, this guy, it makes me feel no, safer. This that it's and less that. likely to fall apart. Yeah. Um, because like when we had that little boat motion oh, yeah. there, I thought <laughs> oh, I could see Jonathan's top half just falling off. Uh -huh. um, but then, so I, I decided to split it in half just for the joke. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was kind of fun. But yeah, he had no idea. In fact, nobody had any idea except for a few people in the crew mm -hmm. uh, who were. <laughs> Doing the stage management aspect. <laughs> cool. So it worked out. Do you mind me filming you answering questions not like this? Not at all. No. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Do you want to check? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good to dive in and see what we got. So yeah. if someone commissions a work from you, is it like the cost of the Lego plus your time, or do you just do like a flat rate? You're, you're interested in a piece? I'm just wondering <laughs> how it works. Yeah. Uh, it depends on how it works. Um, and so how much does the Lego cost for something like that when you're buying it in bulk? That's a really good question. Um, I don't know the answer. And the, the reason is because I just uh, I just order bricks. So it's just a it's just a line item, brick order every month. You know, yeah. I order thousands and thousands like, of bricks. But I don't sort them out up. by what that would cost. Brick okay. Brick. But you, you had an estimate of how many bricks it was, so then you could just kind of multiply that by the average brick. <laughs> Daddy. That's why it's a starving artist. Angela's a, scientist. <laughs> Angela's a scientist, so she's going to... Yeah. So, all right, so you know that, that plastic's made of oil. Oil yeah. prices vary. Oh, okay. Oil prices vary. Right. It's just a commodity. And so of course, we need to save Lego. oil so that you can make Lego. It's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, uh, and of course... Lego Bricks, uh, it's, a, it's a toy company, as we all know, and so they base their product line on what's uh, coming, and so that means what colors are available to me, what shapes and sizes have to be in a current product. Uh -huh. uh, other than some core pieces, you know, the, the two by four, I don't think they'll ever take out of circulation. <laughs> right, uh, right. Any of the core rectangular pieces usually are available, but color-wise, uh, mm. other than the primary colors, those rotate a lot. So I was saying earlier, like, finding pink pieces can be tough because this color pink for a while was very difficult to find. Now it's become much more prevalent with the uh, Lego, Lego friends. friends. Thank you. Yeah. Lego uh, friends. Lego friends. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Which is great for me because pinks and purples used to be so difficult and now they are much more prevalent. Do you have a favorite type of piece that you use? Like, like an element? Yeah. A favorite yeah. element? Yeah. Uh, here's one right here. It is. Uh, were you using that piece no, there? No. Okay. It is the. You ruined my stuff. <laughs> no. You ruined it. <laughs> it's the one by two jumper, which is not its official name, but um, call it a jumper because you can stack them on top of there, and you have a little, little bit of a stair step that's, you know, it's half of one stud, and so you can get more detail when you're doing curves when you do smaller steps, because the curve is just a series of steps, yeah. as you can see on the <laughs> shoulder there. So uh, the jumper would be the most useful piece when it comes to detail, I think. But other than that, I'm a purist when it comes to, as you can see, mostly mm -hmm. just rectangular bricks on these things. Yeah. Um, Jonathan, other than maybe his glasses, I don't I think almost, oh, it's his eyes. I used a few different elements to, to make the the eyeballs. Other than that, it's all just rectangles. But so that's the idea. That's have, the magic. Do you have mm -hmm. names in your head for the different shapes? Like, like, when, like when we play Lego, there's the there's the flatties and there's you know the flatties. Everyone yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. The, the two yeah. by yeah. ones yeah. we used. No, two by fours or whatever. But like flat. I mean, like if you have in your head, like I need this thing. Do, do you have? Yeah. Like, I would call that a two by eight technic plate. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so the Technic is because it's got the holes in it, so that means it yep. comes from one of the Technic sets, or the Expert Builder sets, as they used to call them. And then the plate, I call them bricks and plates, yeah. that's, that's canon right from the company, right. bricks, plates, three Where plates, Where did this Ellis thing come from? I have no idea. Sticker. 
Yeah, it's a oh, sticker. Okay. Oh, it's a sticker off of the Ferrari set. <laughs> See, in my yeah. house, this is a holy flatty. Holy flatty. <laughs> <laughs> we call them skinny ones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good too. Because yeah. we probably were playing with them before we were really reading. Yeah. The instructions. Oh, like what? So. What do you call this here? Oh, that piece. That one was the thing we called the flat that one. I've never seen that piece before. I don't know. That one was flat without studs, but that's its official name. They call it a tile. I call it a smoothie. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah. from the childhood, right? right. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Smooth. So I notice you're not wearing any shoes. I just took them off. Um, but <laughs> how, no, how do you deal with the ever-present danger? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make shoes out of Lego. Oh. I do not feel it. Wow. <laughs> you have to scroll on calluses. In fact, when I hired my feet. assistant, I was like. Um, I said, it's kind of like walking across coals. We're going mm -hmm. to spread Lego across the <laughs> studio. You're going to cross the room. <laughs> <laughs> she did fine. She did fine. Yeah. No, I really don't feel it anymore. I, I've done it enough. I, I do work barefoot sometimes in my studio, and it is what it is. Now, kids, I still recommend you pick up your Lego at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Yeah. The... Um, I was saying how I hired my assistant with that. Um, do any of you know how they hire the builders at Lego? What one of the major yeah. tests is? Walking on Lego. Do you know this? The sphere, exactly. You, you go into a room, they pour a pile of bricks, much like this, you know, just a big pile of bricks on a table, and you have 45 minutes to build a sphere. Of any size? Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's any size requirements. Uh, actually, there might be, because I, I had to... Uh, do it about this big, so maybe cantaloupe size. And then okay. you know what the next step is. They take that sphere and they roll it across the floor. <laughs> and if it rolls straight, you've built a sphere and you can go on to the next part of the interview. Oh, wow. But if it just stops, you've built a box and your, <laughs> your job interview is done at that point. But, um, <laughs> that's kind of one of the fun aspects of their interview process. Anyways. Spheres. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you know what that That's is? a first no, order approximation of a sphere. Have any of you heard of Grant Imahara? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. I should. Yeah. I, I can't believe. Oh, I here. saw you on MythBusters. Exactly. I've only seen like five oh, episodes of MythBusters. I did not realize some of these were in here. This is one of the blocks from the MythBusters we did, where we built a giant sphere yeah. and rolled it down yeah. a hill. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the original blocks. Wow. So some of these bricks are from that event. Wow. Uh, that's really wow. Cool. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> this was 08, I want to say, or 9, or 10. It was, it was, it was, it was years ago, yeah. That's funny. I just saw it on TV like a month ago. I, I doubt he does. <laughs> that, that, i got to bring that up. So, someone let him know that yeah. the blocks are still here. <laughs> so that was an interesting shoot. I, <laughs> I thought we should glue the things together. I'm all about gluing the bricks together if we want to keep them in one shape. Um, so give you a beautiful moment. <laughs> yeah. The crackle is uh, it's key. Um, did anyone see that episode? Oh yeah. You know I, I saw it like a month ago when I just randomly turned on the TV. Yeah. So yeah, you understand what happened to the do you know what was going to happen? If, did you know it was going to fall apart as soon as they started rolling it? No, I kind of had faith it would make it. The interesting part of that is, I don't know how much of my NDA still, uh, uh, still lasts. Um, don't worry. Not like it's being taped. Right? It's not like there's a don't camera on me right now. <laughs> now, we were rolling it down the hill, and um, at the end of the hill is two chain link fences. And we'd set up, they'd set up the car as a barrier and some other, uh, you know, those... Um, Jersey girders? Yeah, exactly. So it was rolling down the hill, and as you saw, it kind of tilted to the side, and it, it looked like it was going to bust through one of those barriers. No. Um, and had it stayed intact and busted through, those two chain link fences it was heading towards was a prison. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we had a, a ton and a half of Lego, you know, two ton ball rolling towards what would uh, obliterate it, chain link fences. <laughs> yes, they had barbed wire at the top. But it had gone right Yeah, but the, the prisoners would have been occupied just making stuff out of Lego. <laughs> it could have been quite the story had that gone a certain way. So it's kind of fortunate that it just kind of... But it would have been amazing to see it hit the car. Yeah. Like if it had been intact and gone all the way down the hill, it would have obliterated. I think it would have gone through the car and still gone into the prison. <laughs> 
This is it. Figure out how much that weighed. Yes. I think uh, I think Grant actually okay, did some math on the show. Yeah, the and I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, math on there. Okay. 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 So so it was, I want to say a ton or two. Okay. You know, a ton or two. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. The point is, it was similar mass to the car. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. yeah. 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 Except they would have had. A lot, a lot behind you, it. You are a brave man, by the way. How's that? You work with Lego every day, and you walk around barefoot. We, yeah, we were just, yeah. He, he <laughs> gave a demonstration. Yeah, yeah. A bunch of it <laughs> Don't feel it. Yeah. Um, thank you, though. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> yeah. There is actually houses on the way. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. yeah. Super long hours. Long hours. Would you mind signing the card for me? Very nice. Very nice. The key point card. This is my version of the. This is uh, obviously. Uh, Terminator. <laughs> Lego <laughs> Man. <laughs> and uh, Storms who broke the back gave me my battle cry. All be blocked. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. You bet. Awesome. Yeah. So, anyway, any other questions? Uh, I wanted to ask about just uh, the idea of toys versus art. If you've ever been approached with that as seeing uh, toys as being more than that. Yeah. I mean, as you can imagine, uh, it's an interesting dichotomy. I kind of touched on it a little bit in my talk, but when I first went to galleries, they were like, mm hmm. You know, what what are you thinking? Do you really think this is art? But they, they didn't even bother to look at the portfolio at that time. They, there's a preconception of Lego as art that was just, oh, it's just toys. That's kind of changed. Um, but I still run into it quite a bit. Um, it's, a weird, it's a weird thing going on there because the art world is really, you know, at this point, anything can be art. So it's not, it's when you try and bill it just as, oh, it's just toys as art. That, that some some galleries push back, some art museums push back. Um, so it's interesting. I, I did a, I sometimes do talks at colleges, and I was at an art class um, at an unnamed college, where uh, some of the students really got on my case and said, "You are a shill. You've completely sold out." And I was like, "Well, there's no real rules to art." And you know, I said, why am I a sellout? And I said, well, because you use a company's product to create art. <laughs> it's a medium. It's a medium. Right? Do other people make their own paint out of flowers? Yeah, they make their own pencils. Exactly. Yeah. Right, exactly. they're making their own pencils. <laughs> Oh, 100%. I, I mean, I loved it. I loved the discussion we got into. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And the thing that I think that, that they touched on that was an interesting point is I do work with the Lego company, not as a business relationship. You know, I want to purchase their bricks so I can make my art. In return for that, I have a weird business relationship where I need to respect, oh, I want to respect their audience. They're, they're, they have an audience that goes from, you know, three years old up. So you see a lot of my art, there's not going to be a lot of um, adult themes. You know, no drug paraphernalia or no, no alcohol in my art. And uh, people ripping their own chests open, that's okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. right? I mean, your own interpretation so, of the piece. It, it is kind of interesting. So if you, yeah. if you send an email to someone, which I've done, to describe my art and said, oh, it's a yellow guy tearing his chest open and your product is spilling out of the chest, yeah. it sounds very violent. Um, and you could be, see how someone would be hesitant about that. But uh, once they see it, they, they, they get it. But again, back to that, that relationship. So I self-censor at times because, because of, of the medium, because it's also a toy product, which I think certain artists would say is a big no-no. Um, but I also, you know, I say there's no rules to art. That's one of, my, one of my models. There are no rules. Because I also have Lego purists who come at me and say, you glue your bricks. I mean, yeah. there may be a film out there who <laughs> represents this situation. Yeah. And, and that's a big no-no in certain circles. But it's a necessity for just shipping at right. this point. I mean, these yeah. Lego bricks would stay together just fine. Mm -hmm. It's just, just when we move them, you know. It's yeah. like a scene from Cake Boss. You know? that, that, leads, that leads into my question. Sure. I was wondering yesterday, I was like, okay, 
Gulu must obviously be involved here somehow. How far up do you go before you go, okay, <clears throat> I'm ready to, you know, this is going to work yeah. out the way I want. I'll so it now. my art studio um, in New York has a lot of sculptures that are unglued. Right. Because when I started out, I almost always would build it first, complete it, and then copy build it. And that is a slow process, oh, as you can yeah. imagine. Yeah. So in the studio is all the unglued, unglued works. Now I have more faith in my uh, in my building ability these days, so I actually only do the glued version for the most part, right. and I'm very good with a hammer and chisel. <laughs> <laughs> but you're la it's true though. Yeah. I will I will physically chisel apart parts of it. It ruins the Lego. Yeah. So I have buckets like these that are filled of I don't know how to describe just Lego that has shards. Like, <laughs> shards <laughs> essentially. Corner. That are busted up differently. In that? There's some white bricks over there that I could not use last night. Yeah. Yeah, so they wrong. fell into the wrong bucket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. <laughs> exactly. Though <Exactly. laughs> exactly. so those may be the MythBuster bricks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, these. Over there. Yeah. yeah. Well, this definitely is a chisel yeah. right through that. <laughs> so sorry about that. <laughs> Just put that away. Um, but yeah, some of these we were saying earlier. Some of these were used on MythBusters when we had this huge ball and. Uh, the outside bricks just got destroyed, yeah. and they might have been yeah. extinguished yeah. yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of curious, as long as we're on the adhesive topic. Yes, the adhesive um, topic. Yeah. The, like, what do you actually use to glue these together? I've used a lot of plastic adhesives in my time, and <laughs> that looks very well done for the amount of adhesive that has to be in it. Thank you. So, <laughs> so what are you question. using, uh, if that's not a trade secret? It's not a trade secret. I, there is a legal issue there, uh, <laughs> and, and, and and it comes from uh, I had to sign something that said I wouldn't discuss it because okay. there's a certain toy company that doesn't want kids mm -hmm. using this product. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and so uh, what I can tell you it's is craggle. it's just craggle. It's just craggle. Just craggle. Just craggle. Yeah. Uh, it's it, this is ABS plastic. Yes. And if you if ABS is used a lot, of course, in plumbing, and if you were to go to a plumbing store and you say you need oh, to glue okay. ABS plastic together, they would be able to help you out. I understand now. Okay. But yeah, Thank it's you. pretty. It's it's toxic, you know. And yes, it, it's not something you want kids using. And so these are not edible statues. What's that? These are not edible statues. I <laughs> not so much. No. Nathan, I apologize for interrupting, but on behalf of the Home Office, we need to get this back up and running. Is this your toy, or is this something that we need to set up for you? Um, that is not my toy. Okay, because it's the camera that was supposed to be on. Joko has it. Oh, I know, but it's down, so I didn't know if you had brought it. I hadn't. I hadn't. Okay. I was unaware that it fell about 10, <laughs> ten minutes ago, 10 or 15. Okay. Yes. All right, well, we will take care of it then. Oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Anyways, first thing I like that. Could I get you to sign my shirt using only Lego? Using only Lego. It, it detaches. Oh. oh, I love the shirt. Yes. It doesn't matter. But it's Lego, you can put it back together. Yeah. I mean, if it wouldn't take you a long time, but I imagine you can do some kind of signature. Luckily, his signature is one red dot. <laughs> two, two by two. Thank you. Thank you. That was my Lego, but I don't particularly care if it, it goes nice, in with nice the rest order of the Oh, this my, is my necklace, yeah. Oh, crap, my necklace fell apart. <laughs> Oh well. You know what I can do. In the ear. Thanks. That's the home. This goes to my. So as I don't take up too much of your time, let's see if I can get into the top. Want chip? Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, I will leave your high intact. Oh, you don't have to leave it there. You can, you can take everything apart if you want. Well, there you go. There it is. I've signed it. <laughs> that's nice. I wish that this would oh, awesome. macro so, focus on that, but it's not working. Okay, thank you. You bet. Do you have signature blocks? I do. Um, at a certain point, I wanted to figure out how I could sign my sculptures. Um, and I still use a Sharpie, um, but... I decided, I knew a friend who uh, had an etching machine, so I was like, oh, let's etch my name into bricks of all colors, and then I could insert them in, and then eventually I just had them printed. This is the same 
very similar printing process to that they print the uh, they print the actual bricks like the minifigures, um, and so I just had them print my signature and my website. Off. And now, I, yeah, yeah, I, I only have a few left, so. This Actually, here, sign, sign my, my bracelet. Oh, sign, sign the bracelet with that bracelet. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, there's a Lego on your bracelet. Awesome. <laughs> very cool. He made the mold. That's awesome. And our inner filler cast is one. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm showing signatures. I wonder if we can sign my money. Uh, I made this, it's a vinyl figure. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, Frank Magic figure. Of course. For the so I did a, yeah, Paul, some more in Paul Pit held by Strong Man. I got Paul to sign on the back. So, yeah, I, I really appreciate it if you do it. Sign it. I have a marker. So he had to make it up. He had to make a Any Any word that you there you'd like? Uh, I left that entire bulbous area open. Yeah, but then Paul you know, kind of has this beautiful message right here. Yeah. And I don't want to. Really yeah, there you go. That's a good one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I know the Lego one. Does that work? That works great. Yeah, yeah. Would you get your Absolutely. I'm hanging up the down Does that? Very good. Very readable signature. Oh, thank you. Practice it. Can I see it? I want to see his real signature. Oh, yeah, go for it. Here, let me get the Sharpie out of the way. There you go. Cool. I wish this would focus properly, but. It won't. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks. Where do you teach? Oh, cool. Very good. Yeah, that's kind of what I was touching on about art and so forth. Uh, started as part of the Um And part of it is just to just to bring money to schools and more arts into their programs. So, and we've partnered, or we've worked with the FIA Foundation. I don't know if you're familiar with FIA. It's based in Arkansas, Little Rock. But they, they work in the Southeast. And it's about getting art into other classes. So it's not just getting art supplies into the art classes. It's about how can you use art to teach math? How can you use art to teach English? How can you use art to teach science? Uh, it's a really fun program, and they're really Doing great work. The results are I mean, yeah. fantastic. You know, the, 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 the kids are just really responding. Well, anyway. All right, all right. So wherever you like. Wherever you like. And is this, this for? Sorry. Is this for? Uh, should I make it out to anyone? Uh, Michael. And does Michael build with Lego? He'll be down here. He actually. So was this your friend Katie? Yeah. <laughs> I've been I see H and A. Yeah, I assumed it was normal, but your friend Katie did that. Oh, I'm surprised. I put him in the Oh, a new fez. We just got married a year and a half ago. Thank you. Uh, I guess it's 13 months now. 13 months. Yeah. And uh, that cake is awesome. This is your time. Great, great place. You made Bender eyes. I'm going to finish your border. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a full border, but it kind of was falling apart. Is that a Think Geek shirt? Yeah. But it's basically just um, Velcro and glue. I had to glue it back together. Um, All right. Make this better. Right. There you go. I just wanted to finish the Oh, thank you. Put something on the hat. Yeah. Want to put this right there? There you go. I'll leave it. No, it's got to be done.
Josh was talking about working on you. When you're sitting here building, it's like there's somebody because it's life size and, and it's like you can't just have the corner of your eye. It's like it's always saying that when we were backstage after we pulled it backstage after we had it out there. Like, I kind of feel like there's two Jonathans looking at me right now. <laughs> it's spooky. It's I've had moments in, in the studio where it's dark. I mean, forget when I finish a new piece, I like finish this and it's sitting, and there's light coming through the window, but it's evening hours. And you just kind of turn around and you forget that there's a new sculpture there. And I've had I jumped. I mean, it's sad, but, <laughs> but you know, when it's a life size figure in the shadows, it, can, it's, it startles me from time to time. <laughs> We were really wondering how you were going to approach the cruise. As, as was I. I was like, it's just perfect. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's. Uh, you know, we had some ideas. <laughs> I think this is this works out. Well. I'm just glad we got it all here. It's kind of a, you know, and, and you know, getting things like this on a cruise ship, and explaining it to Royal Caribbean, like, we're doing what? Okay. We need this crate on board. They should be used to us by now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't they, look at. Don't look in the crate. Don't open the crate. Yeah. Don't we can't tell you crate. what's in the crate. Don't drop the crate. But we saw them sitting over the pilot yesterday, and it was like. 4,400 and some pieces, oh, and it's like, yeah. and then pick up the box and shake it, and it's like, Christmas, wake up! Yeah, but they, they had me catalog the pieces, and not, because I wrote out 100,000 right. bricks. That's not good enough. We need more details. Oh my gosh. There's 50,000 windows in the last day. You have 400 windows and there's 6,000 tires. I have no idea. That's, that's, you know, they're safe. They're very safe about that sort of thing. It's good to know you can't just get a pallet of boxes onto a boat. Well, so what they do? I mean, they... I categorized it as best as I could, you know. Well, yeah, and on the side there, there actually says, um, 4,400, was it? <laughs> Number of pieces. Oh, contains 4,455 4, items. <laughs> I guess they broke it apart. Like, like they're going to count it. Yeah, I don't know. So it's like, wow. It's actually 6,000. When, when you get bricks like that, a big mega brick, how many pieces are in that? <laughs> Is that box even open yet? No. I don't know. Sorry, I was using the other table. Not at all. I don't know. I'm just curious what's inside. I'm guessing. Yes, but which pieces? Which one? Which one I need? It's full of this. So he's, gr he's, he's grinning as he's shaking. I'm like, no, not yours. Shake, 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 shake. No, not yours. Yeah, this is some just this is some random stuff. Like, uh, you know, Lego has some interesting ideas from time to time. Like the big orange tires. If, yeah. if those Mars. were gray, they would be um, Death Star. Yeah, engines. engines. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think they're, they're tires, right? From yeah, Mars. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're tires from Mars. Mars. Yeah. 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 So, have you seen the Lego movie? Yes, I did. I saw it as soon as I could. It's awesome. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I thought it was funny. You did it. an amazing it job. Fantastic. I want to see it again. I, I love the message about um, you know using imagination. <laughs> and That's good. Uh, and uh, I love the inside jokes. Oh yeah, I mean like <laughs> when he's looking for pieces and they they They're show not the, the piece numbers. The piece numbers. Yes. yes. Like, right. There's all so the many pieces. inside like <laughs> Lego fan jokes. I've only seen it once, and I am very much looking forward to when I own it and can like pause yeah, yeah. and look at everything in the well, it's background. It's like you know, it's a different Millennium Falcon with the yeah. different scales. Yeah, right, they right. changed scales on it. Yeah, it went to the, the micro figure scale and then the, the mini figure scale and then the full size. That was impressive. Version. I thought that was a smart idea. It was you know, great. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I know there are cynics out there who are like, yeah, a two-hour commercial. But oh, uh, have, have they seen Transformers? It's only an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. And, and the amazing thing is, 
they don't ever use the word Lego. You never see the word Lego. Other than on the top of the Other than the, yeah. on the studs, it's <laughs> never there. Uh, it's never said, and that's what's so amazing. Mm -hmm. They did, and it's just a great story, and it was engaging. It was like so fast. Yeah. It was like, oh my gosh, it's constant. Boom, 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 boom. It was, it was neat how they brought some of the older sets into the yeah. 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 80s space man. 80s technology and it's like oh, 80s space man. Yeah. yeah, that was like, the broken. Such a smart thing oh, to yeah. break. Yeah, the break. Yeah. So I, many of mine are broken. I know exactly <laughs> what that is. <laughs> it's a stress yeah. fracture. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Right, right, right with the gears. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah. It's really six. great. So, I'm sure sequels would be on the way. That's what, I mean, they already are working. Yeah. Uh, May 2017. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. That's great. Really and I'm, that's I'm great. sure it'll have a higher budget now. Because yes. After, after the success of this one. Yeah. The, the voice I did get they got for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone wanted you know, to be involved, I guess. You know? Who, who doesn't just, want to be involved? That's, it. that's exactly <laughs> right. I mean, they, they had their, their choice. Pit, so, yeah. yeah. But it, it, was, it was beautiful. It was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah. Oh, sorry. I got to go to Animal Logic, which was the animation studio behind it in Sydney, Australia. I had a show in Sydney, and the guys came to the show. The guys were in it, and they were like, why don't you come over to our, our little studio over here? And they're like, well, we want to show you what we're working on. And this was two and a half years ago, three years ago. They just started, uh, and they were the only thing they'd done is figured out Emmett. Wow. And they had some clips of Emmett, you know, that's all they showed me was just Emmett talking and Emmett walking and talking, and I was like, oh, that's stop motion. Like, no, that's animation. Wow. No, 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 I see what you've done there, that's just stop motion. Like, no, this is all computer animation. I, I, want them really I, would, yeah. I would like now to see how we made it. Oh, I think um, you probably will. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, they, they, they did some of the B-reels of yeah. people doing yeah. voice acting, and, and the end of that was um, all the computer animation where they've got big minifig and where it can actually swivel and move, so you can see how the arm goes up and down. And, so yeah, that's, that's on that B-reel. Sorry, I saw it just before we came on the boat. But they stayed true to the physics of Lego, which is all, you know, like the arms, there might be a little bit, but for the most part, they're not doing things that arms can't do, you know. And, and when they, wait, they hold hands. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was very, very fun. Very fun. And, and that they use the nail polish remover to take off. Nail. Not, yeah, the, the, yeah, the remover of, yeah. Polish yeah. Remover of <laughs> I, I love the band -Aid. Band -Aid. Yeah, when the band aid and like, all those things, I was like, oh my gosh, that's my collection. <laughs> that's you know, the exact zero. <laughs> <laughs> That was so true to life, though. Like, <laughs> oh, there's a key in this big pile. Yeah, I have yeah. that. That's in my pile of Lego. There's keys. <laughs> Not at the studio, of course. That's completely sorted. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was an amazing picture of the studio. Oh, I know. Yeah. So, is is the studio public? It's not. It's not. If it, 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 it can't be just for logistics reasons because you never get any work done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, every day, I think. Uh, um, but I try and, you know, put a lot. I have five exhibitions touring right now, and one of the elements we're talking about is maybe we should build a studio into the exhibition, you know, so you could even have that kind of play experience in a, in a type of studio that I work in, in the exhibition. Uh, because Bruce would not stay great. sorted. <laughs> well, that's true. That's, that's true. But, you know, that's just one minor element of it all. But the studio, a lot of people want to see it. It's just really just boxes of Lego on the walls. It just happens. But that's to impressive. To, to, to and the, the show, the, that photo we saw in the, in the presentation that. yesterday, that's I'm not sure if those I are the building okay. bricks. So those are little trays, <laughs> dark colored trays. Yeah, and behind that, which you don't see, so uh, so uh, behind me when I took that photo, but I haven't is measured how big rows the eyes and rows are in of shelves so. with huge clear oh, bins so bigger than this. Oh, already has googly eyes. Full of bricks. Yeah, somebody put and each bin. Yeah, I should have. I didn't think about it until I was on the boat. But so I have. That's where the millions of bricks are stored, or is in those big clear bins. So stripes and stripes of different color, like a rainbow. It'd just be a nice drool. It's a drool-worthy photograph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, have you been to any of the Lego Yeah, I've done work for the parks in California. 
Uh, I did some of their dinosaurs, uh, which was kind of fun, um, and, and uh, had a good experience out with them. Uh, and they have subsequently, you know, connected to me every once in a while and said, hey, you know, we're doing this, can you help me? Or um, I should, more of that has come out of uh, Denmark. They've, they've reached out. That one. Oh, speed. No, no, no. Quite a while. You've been there? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I was like 10 or so at the time, oh. and it was just amazing. Right, right. So their headquarters, that's where Lego, of course, yeah. comes from, and their Sorry. headquarters are there. And, and the company has reached out from time to time and said, hey, can you build us X? Our, our, uh, our model shop doesn't have time to get to it. So, but Have you been there as a visitor? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I've been to the one in California as a visitor. I haven't been to the one in Denmark as a visitor. <laughs> but yeah, so it's not just I, I want to see Florida, because um, I, oh, yeah, I, wanna, I haven't been to Florida yet. I want to check it out, and uh, I, uh, I believe some of oh, I did some rocket designs for them, and I believe they are in the Florida Park. They have a little in the Miniland area. They've redone the NASA NASA Space Rover or the, the Mars Rover. Oh, that was so awesome at Kennedy Space Center, the big Mars Rover in Lego. In Lego. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's, that's, I did not. Sorry. That. I did not have anything to do with that. Secret. No, but they in Miniland they did Kennedy Space Center oh. Oh. mini version, and so I did. So you know, there's a rocket garden in Kennedy yeah. Space Center. Yeah. So I rebuilt that for them. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, that was one of my projects that I did years ago. Years ago. So I want to check that out, in Florida, if it's there. Any of these? So those are coming straight from the company. Um, those come right out of the factory in um, um, Europe, and uh, a lot of the stuff that they do is for the toy store displays and the licensed properties, the Star Wars, is, you know, so that comes right out of their, their European place. So I focus more on, you know, random commissions, you know, that are not company focused. I, you know, I've done a few company things, but it's really been for internal projects where they're like, so and so's retiring, can you build their head? <laughs> you know? when, you, when you mentioned the urn yesterday, yesterday it was like, my, my mind and me went to that would be amazing for, for a, a Lego nerd. Like for a yeah. person, Lego nerd, not the dog. But, You've but got to well, be Melodrax. <laughs> I, I know. Well, that's why I was like, oh my gosh, that would be so perfect. <laughs> I have an interesting policy, and people disagree with it. Um, but I don't do anything uh, that has to do with that area, death or anything, because I do get a lot of parents who reach out. They've lost a child. Can you build a great you a lot of I've been asked to do a that. casket, um, and it's. Uh, I, I want to keep this fun. And but you'll do it for Corgi. Oh, no, you, you refused that one. I didn't do it for the dog okay. as well. Yeah, I just I decided at a certain point, since I was getting these requests from time to time, that I thought um, it's just not something I want to focus on. Um, plus, you know, I don't know how well these will weather outside. Uh, you know, and if you do something like that, that's supposed to be permanent. Uh, you know, Lego outside does. We'll do many years. Not, yeah, it, you know. You, you see the old sections of the way. Like if you go to the park, and, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the parks in Europe faded. that have a tougher winter, yeah. they take a beating, you know. because uh, they're out in the in the cold winter every year. So they, they have to replace a lot of everyone. Once they get them put together, do they actually like coat them with a UV coating? Yeah, or? They get a UV coating and so it's been a while since I've looked into it. Uh, the UV coating didn't necessarily stick to the sheen of the Lego brick, so we would blast it sand with blast it. sandblast it with walnut, you know, uh, ground walnut shells, sandblast the whole thing, and then you would be coated. It's an interesting process because there's all different levels there when you're sandblasting and when you're coating, and you can ruin a sculpture real quick. Yeah. Um, but the parks have a very good system now, of course. They, they know how to do it at this point, so they're really good about that stuff. But yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favorite art installation that you did? Favorite art yeah. installation. Um, it's a tile. That's like yeah. asking a favorite child. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. You know, a lot of people ask me what's your favorite sculpture, and I, I really have a hard time answering it because how do you answer that? But, I mean, it is. Um, my answer is always the next one. <laughs> you like that? Um, I think. I think yellow. 
you know, for me. I think it's just I, I know how iconic. Uh, you know, oh, jeez, for me, it's really important. It really connects to a lot. Of, I feel like I get a lot of email. A lot of folks like, I get it. I totally understand where you're coming from. And it's like, oh, I'm reaching people, you know, all over the globe through this piece. And a lot of kids are like, I love that there's guts coming out of it. So. It works on many levels. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, I also like. You, you saw the dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. That, that was. That's that's a, that, as installations go, that one's hard to top. Uh, yeah. You see a lot of mouths drop when they walk into that room. So that's kind of. As well as that one So that's actually on tour. It's in Times Square right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, that was that was I had done a museum show in oh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, at the Lancaster Museum of Art. It was my first solo art exhibition. Uh, I thought it would be my last art exhibition because uh, you know this is Lego. How how far can this go? Right? We'll try this out as an art medium, and I was hopeful it would work. And uh, the museum was overwhelmed because they annually do. 30,000 people a year, yeah. and in six weeks they got 25,000 people. Wow. And, uh, so they were blown away. I was blown away. But what I was most blown away was how many kids came there and had never been to an art museum. Had never been, they'd lived in this town their whole lives. They'd never been to this museum. And that's when I was like, I want to do something for those kids. I, I thought, what do kids love? They love dinosaurs. And that's what I did. I spent the summer studying T Rex anatomy. Which wow. <laughs> Which I still don't understand how they didn't tip over. But, you know, it's very so. So that that sculpture, if you ever get a chance to see it, you will notice it's it's rigged from the ceiling. Uh, we rig it. Yeah. So when I originally built it, uh, it's in a studio, and I built towers and towers of Lego bricks. You know, like blocks like this. Yeah. More time. You know, so much time spent on these towers to hold, hold up it up. So the whole underside was wow. all these towers as I built the. Uh, as I wow. built the creatures, um, it was a process, <laughs> to say the least. And you never oh. thought that maybe because they're not part of the sculpture, you could just take yeah. a block yeah. of wood or something. It would take. Well, a well no, I wanted I wanted it to be accurate to Lego because I wanted. But it you intended to have the towers there even when it was on display. No, I thought I figured out early on that the rigging, hanging it, was going to be the way to display it. Okay. The towers were just for construction purposes because then I could build up Lego. I tend really to build up. To Wouldn't have to be, but I want it to be absolutely accurate so the levels were perfect okay. all the way. And I just and you have a hanging around. You know what? I have a lot of Lego, so I was like, <laughs> you're kind of used to it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't build them. The, the blocks weren't thick like that. They were just. Um, this is is this anyone? So I'm not destroying a work of art. I would just go, just make towers like this. Really simple. Yeah, just squares. You know, all the way up. Just like that, over, 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 over. So okay. they, they come together really quickly. Uh, I still use that technique a lot, you know. If there's certain parts, nothing on Jonathan, but you know, you could see, like, say his arm is really outstretched oh, no, or something, really. maybe I'll, I'll use a tower <laughs> again to this day. And I still build them out of later. Yeah. yeah. He has a much better fuzz now. Aww. And he's been identified oh, with the name tag. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know who he is. <laughs> Hair. No, he has a Lego stuff in his hair. <laughs> you know how many photos of Jonathan oh, I stared at? Stared at to <laughs> figure this out? Because if you look at photos of Jonathan, you know, I, I, I had met Jonathan before this. I, I knew what he looked like. In fact, when we first met, I knew I, I had this idea in, in the back of my mind. And so uh, we met in New York, and um, I knew I was doing this cruise. And um, and as I was a fan of his, but we'd never met in person. And so I kind of came up to him, and I was just kind of sizing him up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how tall is this guy? See you. <laughs> you know, what color are your eyes? <laughs> you know, it was that kind of experience. So, he had no idea. He thought I was just creepy. But, uh, no, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> What's that? It's slightly smaller than the size it is a little smaller, and I tend to go a little smaller because, as you know, as you Lego is a little thick, so if you get it completely life size, it looks a little too wide. Okay. Um, so that, that works.
as well as I could. But, so I, I looked at a lot of photos. Sometimes this is a little darker brown. Sometimes it's a little more red, depending on the lighting. So I just kind of played with it. Sometimes this salt patch is not there. Sometimes it's there. The glasses changed. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's hard to do glasses for life-size glasses when you're using, you know, just bricks and play. Uh, they, they tend to look always too thick. In fact, if you looked at that Stephen Colbert piece I did, and I did Stephen, uh, I, I was running out of time because the way that worked, they were like, hey, we want you on the show next week. <laughs> also, bring a life-size Stephen. <laughs> so for his glasses, I finished the head. I liked how the head looked, but I hadn't done the glasses, and so I just bought a pair of glasses and put it on at the last second. So he's actually wearing a, a matching glasses to what Steven was wearing at the time. That would be hard to replicate. It was, it was really about time and, and yeah. Lots of beads. How long does it take you to do? Yeah. About a week and a half. Wow. wow. Pretty fast. It was all I was doing. <laughs> yeah. They even tend to freaking 12 hour days just working on Jonathan. Uh, and did on here to make it move. How did you ship it? How did you ship it? Uh, we crated it up. It was a big crate. Okay. Uh, all three of these got crated. Yeah, I have a great team that does my logistics. Uh, and they, they're all about creating things and making sure they get places. They have done things like dinosaur bones, antiques, you know, so Lego sculptures are nothing for them. They're, they're into it. Do you use any kind of glue or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. I use what's called craggle. <laughs> no, um, I do use an adhesive. Uh, we were talking about it earlier because uh, I ship things all over. I want to yeah. make sure they arrive in one piece. Well, because like I, I noticed, like Jonathan picked up his pants by the crotch, right. and I'm like, you know, if I made that, that probably would just all falling apart. Like, no, and I everything has to be glued because of the shipping. Uh, okay. I've learned the hard way. No. You know. Museums get grumpy. They open up a crate, and it's just oh, looks like that. <laughs> so I include a little. I just put a yeah, some assembly required. What's the problem? Let's go find a kid. Yeah, exactly. Don't use it on carpet. Put it on a hard surface and separate the colors. And Here's a photo of what it's supposed one, to look like. Back two. <laughs> They make it so easy now. Yeah. It's like it's so <laughs> <laughs> Do you find time to build yeah. actual Lego sets out of the box? Oh, yeah. I own them. I still buy them, right? Okay. But I don't have a lot of time. Um, the last thing I built was probably I'm trying to think. I you know I bought all, I buy all of the uh, modular building sets. Okay. Um, like the I, I want the new. Uh, well, I bought the the cinema. I don't remember the official name of it. And I want the new Parisian restaurant that's coming out. Um, but the last thing I probably built was the Death Star. Okay. Yeah, the, the big Death Star with all the minifigs. Oh, the minifigs. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I've got the Death Star 2. The Death Star 2. I'm also a great set. Great set. Yeah. Um, so, it, time to time, you know, it's hard. It's hard because this is all I do all day. And to come home and relax by doing it, it's changed a little bit, you know, when your hobby becomes your job, it's a, it's a weird thing that happens yep. there. Um, so these days to relax, I'm like, I'll cook or something, or, you know, okay. work on law. I'm <laughs> <laughs> practice cases, you know. Make, make a will. Or no, I actually let my legal license expire. Uh, yeah. On purpose? I, and on purpose. It's kind of a kick Big in the pants. Net. Like, yeah. you know, I'm not going to use that safety net. I'm not going back there. Okay. Um, a lot of lawyers think I'm crazy for doing that. Like, but you, but, but you might. And I'm like, nope. I never want to go back to that. You might starve. I'm fine with that at this point. Uh, it, I let it expire right after I made the transition. I mean, wow. when I say expire, you have to pay, you know, to keep your license, and you have to go to classes. You know, but continuing legal education, I stopped going to those. Stopped paying the license, annual license dues, and just said, nope. I want to. I want to make. A leap doing something else. So if I was to go back to the law, I have to take the bar again, <laughs> which is scary. Is everything. Perfect for it. Yeah. What was your question? Uh, so, uh, there's a quitting pan. There's a quitting panel last yeah. year. Oh yeah. 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 So, so, so like even perfect for that. Yeah. To talk about that. I do get requests from people all the time, like, how do I make that leap? Yeah. Was sad that she couldn't come here because she's on the island. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well I'll be around. I'll, yeah. yeah. Are you gonna do another? Office I will do it. I haven't figured out okay. when's a good time. She'll be, she'll be happy to. Uh, yeah. But I'll, I'll find a time when it's, there's no excursions going on. Right. And uh, and 
she, tell her she can't just approach me. Right. Yeah, we're happy to talk about it. We generally um, try to leave you guys alone. That's yeah. very nice, but just, we're here, you know, to have fun. I mean, this is it's what it's all about. Yeah, you're here to have fun, not to answer random questions. Oh, it's <laughs> this is fun, though. I mean, if you've met lawyers, they love to talk. <laughs> I still have that aspect. And to talk about myself, it's pretty easy. You know. uh, but the It is a fun topic. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's what I know, too. You know. How do you get all the texts? Do you just like buy individual sets, or does Lego now allow you to say, like, I would like 10 million of your 2 by 2 Great. We're, closer, by two. we're closer to the second at this point. Uh, <laughs> when I started out, it was, you know, big cart, the Toys R Us, just, oh my God. Or, or, you know, Lego eBay was eBay. my friend. Uh, oh. it just anything on eBay, garage sales. But you get something like this, and, and this is awesome. This is a lot of Lego. But if I'm trying to build Jonathan or, or yeah. a mountain out of it, you, you got to dig a lot. Your, your yeah. time is spent sorting more than actually working. Are you like um, famous on Bricklink or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, to a certain extent, I buy a lot off of Bricklink because the service is so quick. So right now, I get most of my bricks to answer your question from Lego directly. Uh, we have a, it's strictly a business relationship where I have to pay for it, just like everyone else. But I, I can email them and say, I need 500,000 red two by fours, and they ship them over. They come over by boat, so it takes me anywhere from three to six months to get the brick. Oh, wow. so, I need you to be proud we captured an alien. Nicely done. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Just be careful that the Velociraptor is going to come again. There is a dinosaur being done. Yes, there is. Nicely done. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, so the bricks are delivered by pallet, uh, not color pallet, by like a wooden pallet of bricks shows up. It's very surreal that pallets and pallets of wooden bricks, or of, of pallets of bricks show up, and um, that's how I get them. But they're, they're in boxes, much like this, and they're sorted by size and shape and color, so this will be, you know, 5,000, whatever. How much is a box of Legos to weigh for that? Yeah, 35 pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of 35 pound boxes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, that's average. You know, plate weighs more because obviously you can get more and more okay. plates into it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's about 35 pounds, somewhere in there. Um, There's a sealed one right there. Yeah, yeah. Lift right there if you want to lift that up. <laughs> Where do these come from? This one weighs exactly 35 pounds because I wrote a little 35 right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Were you not in here earlier? No. I, oh. What are these, what's the origination of these ones, boxes? Hmm. This brick right here is from Mythbusters. Oh. Um, it was in one of those boxes. So okay. all these bricks come from my art studio. Uh, all these pieces, most of them are when the bricks get miscategorized, or you know, when I'm working and stuff falls on the floor and it's still reusable, they just go into bins and it becomes just loose bricks um, that are used for projects like this. That you know, they're still great for playing with, but I'm not going to take the time to sort them for when I'm working on a sculpture. So they just become play bricks. Now you'll see some of these things in here. Um, this is not something I generally would use in a sculpture, and some of these I think uh, were actually donated because I get families uh, all the time who reach out and say, hey, our kids are grown up, we have a ton of brick in the attic or wherever, we're going to throw it out, do you want it? And I'm like, I don't want that going into a landfill, I'd much rather use it for art. So I take some of these mixed bricks and I will create sculptures out of them. So if you see any of my sculptures where the bricks are not uh, uniform, like they're just a mess of different colors, that's made from recycled bricks. That's reclaimed art. I, it's, my, it's my green initiative, we'll call it. And it's, it's how I recycle bricks. But then sometimes I get planes and, and other parts and they go into the play bricks, of course. But yeah, these are from the Mythbusters episode where, where we built there's one of you. a used brick. So the way we constructed that ball, if you didn't see the episode, is we built thousands of these small bricks and then you know, use that to create a giant ball that we built out. Oh, wow. yeah. And that's a great example what you were doing. of uh, what happens when you roll a three-ton ball down the road and 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Way. Yeah. One, one of my games when I was younger was making indestructible cars that were basically... Oh, they, were they indestructible? They were very huh. close to indestructible. Well. They, they ended up looking a lot like this uh, with wheels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then there would, there would be a minifig inside. And the first one to lose the minifig lost. So they would end up they would end up getting scratched on the end and put dented and yeah. yeah. My big thing so was um, I had a younger sister who had Barbies. And she, she she makes sculptures out of Barbies now. <laughs> no, that's a good question though. But uh, my minifigures would would build ships and tanks and of course attack the Barbies. <laughs> and she was down the hall, so they had to have these big, you know. Carriers, you know, <laughs> aircraft carriers to get all the way down the hallway. Because, of course, the hallway carpet was water. Right. Or lava. Or lava. Or lava. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. 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 Like, my first yeah. really big Lego set was this giant, it looks like an ice spaceship. Yeah. Can you recall that? You recall? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Yeah. little gate. Yeah. 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 So I turned that into a giant castle. Basically. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so it's a giant ice castle, and then it's my own thing. And then I had a bunch of, I had a big bucket of my grandmother's stuff, so I just threw that into my thing. I just loved it. And then my mom put it away. And Parents. Aww. Yeah, I know. And they I, stick them in the yard. Mine so was sold at auction, but yeah. You know, I'd probably bought it. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> $50 for a giant crate. That's about one of those boxes, probably. That's awesome. Oh. Mm -hmm. That happens. I think, I think mine got mixed in. Um, my, uh, with my local school because they do the Lego Robotics Challenge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good use for it. That, that, that's, that's a great program. I mean, that, that stuff's fantastic. Uh, I, uh, I've been supportive of that project for years because they do such amazing stuff for kids. When I, uh, Does it it when I dug out all my bricks, uh, I used them to build one of my first sculptures, you know, and uh, that was one of those amazing things about Lego, though, is, you know, those bricks are 20 or 30 years old, and they still snap together with the new things, and that's why it's so great. I was, I was a lot of a lot of uh, people have been talking about Lego, of course, because of the movie. And I was trying to explain this the other day to a reporter. Like, this toy is amazing yeah, because this is the same toy. Fifty years ago, yeah, fifty years ago, it's still working with the new the new brakes. It's brilliant. Yeah, the manufacturing process is kind of ridiculous. Say that again. The manufacturing process is kind of ridiculous in the tolerances they have to go through and stuff. Yeah, yeah. it has to do that. In the precision, yeah. It's and, and, and it's funny how the off-brand ones. Don't do that. Uh, that's right. why they cost a fraction of the price. Yeah. It's because. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, if you step on an off brand piece, you know, Lego brick is going to hurt your foot. If you step on an off brand piece, it, it crushes it. You know, it doesn't hurt your foot, but you've lost your brick. Um, and that's how you no tell big the loss. <laughs> it didn't yeah. fit anyway. <laughs> Have you ever used anything that wasn't from Lego? Yes, but I was going to. Um, as I have a great. Business relationship. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, from time to time, I've done sculptures out of um, candy. You know, I did a series of sculptures out of candy. I built a, the the only one, the only piece that got a lot of traction. Do you use toxic glue on those as well? I used no, <laughs> different type. I did a, a giant anatom anatomically correct human heart out of the conversation heart, the Neko conversation heart. Wow. <laughs> so that, that got to be about this size. And I, used, uh, I tried a variety of ways to get that to stick together, including just licking them a lot, which is disgusting, but you know, no rules when it comes to art. Um, but I ended up just using a hot glue to get that one to stay together. Okay. I've done sculptures out of bottle caps. Yeah, I was approached by Toys for Tots. Uh, they partnered with Coca-Cola, and they said, "Could you do, uh, you know, the Toys for Tots train? You know, the little logo. Could you make a real train?" I was like, oh, thinking like this big, you know. Like, no, no, we want it 30 feet long. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Sure. Out of bottle caps. Out of bottle caps. <laughs> So I took the project on, like, what a challenge, all right, all right, we'll use, you know, red and white bottle caps. Interesting note, Coca-Cola has an amazing range of colored bottle caps. They have the whole spectrum, 
you don't really think about it, but they have every color you can think of is used on some product of theirs because they own everything. Sure. Um, <laughs> and uh, so they gave me a full range of colors, but uh, for, for the train, I did uh, just red and white. And I, I planned out, I engineered out how I'm going to build this train. And you know how uh, plastic bottle caps, I did all the measurements based, I drank a lot of Coke that week, <laughs> and I had all these bottle caps in my studio, and I did all the measurements off of a typical standard Coca-Cola bottle cap. So then they're like, okay, we're going to send you 100,000 bottle caps to create this thing, and they show up. They came straight from the factory, so they still have the, the little seal on it, which is... Two millimeters wide, or a millimeter and a half wide, or something. It throws your math off quite a bit. So that was an interesting project. So either you sit there and break them all off, or you re which, which them. I considered, and then I thought, no, I can do math. Uh, they also asked me to do a, a big portrait of a polar bear uh, for their uh, Coca-Cola World, their museum in Atlanta, which was fun. It's just it was just a simple mosaic of one of their polar bears, but that's where I really got to play with all the different colors, that's why I brought it up. And when we brought it there, for the unveiling, uh, they didn't know where they were going to put it, and they had all these uh, Warhol paintings that he had done featuring the Coca-Cola label, and they took them down to put up the polar bear, and I was like, that, that was one of those highlights of the artistic <laughs> career. You have arrived. Yeah, that was quite the moment, yeah. So yeah, it's so from time to time. Outside of the Lego, I'll still dabble in other media. I did a big house out of chocolate bars once. I, I love candy. I don't know why it always has to do with candy a lot, but uh, it just happens from time to time. I've used candy. Yeah. Anyway, it's all good. Uh, Nathan, I don't have a Fez for Fez Travaganza, and I was wondering if it would be rude if I asked to keep it. I love it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> would it be possible for you to sign it? <laughs> <laughs> he has his own bricks to sign it with. Very nice. Nice work. That's good. So I had a question about your, your Hugman stuff. My Hugman, yes. So we actually have a list somewhere where people do, actually we have a knit bombers. And it was really funny. Of course, yeah. Or when I found out that that was actually our artist in residence around the town is a yard bomber. Um, but I felt like your Hugman would go over really well. So I don't know if I'll actually be able to try and replicate it, but will you be offended if somewhere? No, I encourage, I encourage folks to do it. <laughs> send me, send me <laughs> images. <laughs> I love to see it. Yeah. Um, I have taken Hugman all over the world. Uh, he's made some appearances in Singapore, in Australia, but for the most part, uh, he's used in New York a lot. That's, that's what I've done in the country in New York. Where are you based? Uh, it's San Mateo, okay. Okay. Well, I've done LA as well. By San Francisco. So, yeah. That's cool. Do people actually take them? Really? Yeah, I have sat at a Starbucks with friends. And I'll leave one out within view, and we will watch. And, uh, it's very funny to watch. Because some people will just stop, take pictures, look around. Uh, and one guy did not break stride. Just walked along, whoop, and just grabbed it and kept walking. So it breaks, breaks the it does, If I glue the arms on, which I, I tend to do when I place them in the city, uh, it will snap the arm. And he did not even care. He was just so we actually we had a camera with us, so we tracked around the block, and kind of found him, and we're like, hey, we're not going to take it from you. We're just curious what you were thinking. I was this kid, and he was just like, look, I didn't have toys growing up. I saw this on the street, and I just wanted it. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's it's street art. It's there to put a smile on people's face. So I, I don't really stress about it. You know, I know when I build them, they're there to go out into the world. So it's part of the. Fun. But it's still. Okay. It wasn't that it was just somebody just taking it, taking it. It was somebody who didn't have it as a kid. Exactly. So that kind of mission accomplished. Kind of, yeah, kind of. We'll go with that. Yeah. You ever had any trouble with doing those? Sort of problems well, I've, I've, had, I've, I've only been approached by the police once while I was doing it, and uh, he actually thought it was really cool. Like, he was like, what are you doing? And, you know, it's New York City cop. Yeah. Sure. Uh, but it was, it was still right. So you're, are you down there really just gluing the thing on there, stick it on, and walk away, and hope for the best? Yep, pretty much. Okay. That's how it goes. Wow. Yeah.
Um, so do they have like unique numbers on them? So they they don't. Are we like, to that's, identify that's a smart one? idea. Uh, okay. I haven't done anything like that. They later before. emerge on eBay. <laughs> okay. Someone once told me they found one on eBay, but when I went to look for it, it, it was already gone. So okay. I don't know if that was true. Um, so one of my uh, one of my friends daughter said she swear she saw one at a dorm room in NYU, which makes sense because yeah. I leave them around Washington Square Park a lot where yeah. NYU is, so uh, it's possible. But, um, the interesting thing was I was doing uh, a video, I had a show opening in Taipei, uh, and they came to New York City, uh, the, crew, the crew from Taipei came to New York City and they wanted to shoot video of me placing Hugman everywhere, all over the city. We drove all over the city, we're just doing these little setups where I'd put one out and then they'd stop and watch people's reactions. Very fun sure. stuff. And they had a list of places we had to do. This is, we have to hit every place on this list. And most of them were fine. And then we get to um, the Brooklyn Bridge. And we're on the Brooklyn Bridge and I place one. And then we back up like three feet and there's a huge sign. Placing any, attaching any item to any portion of this bridge is considered an act of terrorism. So I took it off. Destroy all film. So that was fun. So now you're on a list. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that must so make it fun. awkward to replace the cables. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Anyways, so have you have you published like schematics around to build your own code man online? Well, so I've created them. Okay. Uh, I haven't published them yet because we, we have a little idea that we're going to pull out. Uh, so I can't say anything quite yet, but okay. we have to keep stay, tuned. stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you do any models in that, uh, what do they call that, Lego Creator software? LDD? Thing? Yes. Yeah. Lego Digital Designer. Okay. Yeah. 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 I use it I use it a bunch because okay. you can go into it, it's virtual Lego bricks, and you can test out ideas, you know, very quickly. Okay. How is this going to look? And then I don't have to uh, use glue. Uh, or, or, you know, you don't even have to touch the bricks. I think it's great for kids because unlimited bricks. Kids come up to me all the time and they say, well, I can't do what you do because I don't have a million bricks. I'm like, but you have a million virtual bricks if you really wanted to spend the time. Um, I don't, first of all, I don't really think that's your issue. I think you can do what I, I can do because uh, I totally encourage kids to create and, and try and do it. But um, they do have a million virtual bricks, and they can go online and use LDD and create whatever they, they can imagine. Um, from time to time, it, it's, it's, a great, it's a great tool. I've used it a lot, because you can also send, send it to clients and say, hey, here's what it's going to look like. Okay. Mm. You know, and I, can you use that to order the bricks as well? I, can't really I think you can. I, I don't, you, that's not, not how I... Yeah. Link, so. There isn't any no. more? Yeah. I thought you, you, you have to print out a, a, a brick yeah. list. And port that over to. Oh, that's right. Because, well, Lego store. Factory, when it was there for a while, yeah, you that's, could yes. do it. And then Lego Factory. That went away. It was such a great concept, but Lego was so nervous because their or all the orders, the majority of the orders that came in uh, were about, were for companies. Commercial companies who are like, I want to make our product small that we can give away to our vendors or our clients or whatever. And it did not become what they imagined, which was kids building their own sets, and became this this thing for companies. Mm -hmm. I still that, think that it's a great sense. platform. I don't know, I understand their concern, but it is kind of amazing to still have that. I mean, yes, companies are using it, but Couldn't is that so bad? I, I, yeah. I collect the minifigures, yeah. and I built bleachers in the LED for them, and had to have to port it over to the store to buy the, all the bricks for it. Right. So, yeah. So, yeah. Did they work some legal use into it to say that you can't use it for marketing purposes or something? Well, they did. That's no. so when you click the terms and conditions, that's what it says. <coughs> Do you think <laughs> anyone here? <laughs> right. So what was happening was it was getting all the way to the factory where they're putting the bricks together, and they look at the front of the box and like we can't send this to them, you know, because that was where the next step was when someone was actually reviewing oh, okay. it. So um, eventually, it just all went away. I still think. I mean, it's kind of like like Zazzle or any of those things where you can brand your. Your, yeah. your own product. Mm -hmm. um, they just not want the ramifications of doing that. Already. Well, yeah. So yeah. what if some company that they don't want to be affiliated with, like Budweiser, is like, oh, we want beer bottles. We need a thousand beer bottles. You know. And now you have Lego beer bottles that are out there. And then now is that kids encouraging kids to drink? Right. They know. I mean, they protect the brand as they should because it's a child's toy. And I, they've told me very, you know, honestly and directly. We are a toy company. We are not an art supply store. Um, so, still buy my bricks. 
you know, so. for that reason. So do you always source directly from Lego, or do you like use the various brick swap websites and communities that are out there to source? It's a mix. I mean, as I was, I touched on earlier, like it takes three to six months for me to get my bricks because they they come over by boat uh, from Europe, and so it's a slow process. So if I need something, if I'm working, I'm like, hey, I need this color for Jonathan's beard, and I'm out of the burnt umber. Or <laughs> uh, it can be tough, so I will go somewhere else to, to track them down. You know, so, someone mentioned BrickLink earlier, and BrickLink, you know, it's a quick turnaround. Uh, yeah. But the, the volume is not always there, and the, you just don't know if mm. you can find the right pieces, the right shapes, the right sizes. But, what is but it? it? Oh, it's okay. No, go ahead. No, I feel bad now. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? I could babble. Go on. What, what, um, were you what is the best way to keep up with, you said, stay tuned? Oh, for, oh, for yeah. Uh, well, what is the best way for us? Instagram to or Twitter is just at Nathan Sawaya. So that's probably that's where I break some news from time to time. So that's probably the best. Yeah. Good question. Good question. So, what kind of gadget support do you have for this? I mean, like brick sorters, you know. Brick builders, yeah. So, you know, uh, there's labors. a company in New Zealand that does a brick sorter. Yep. Have you seen it? It's a box and it's various levels, and you shake your bricks through them, and uh, each level has a different size square. So, yeah. you know, once you're done shaking your bricks, the idea is, you know, all the small ones are in this. Size. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, I've used that from time to time, but I'm at this point where everything comes sorted, so I don't, I don't need to sort bricks much. I mean. These, I could go through and do that for all these and sort all of them, but I know that we're going to have play events where we're going to want a lot of unsorted bricks, so I don't even, I don't do that, I don't sort anymore. Um, I think the best tool is my assistant. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, biotechnology. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Minion. Yeah. Uh, you know, I use... Uh, I use non-traditional tools when I'm building. Um, you know, Lego has a product called the Brick Separator, mm -hmm. which is a little the, the orange. green oh, yeah. or orange uh, tool, to, and it works very well. Um, another company, which I, I tweeted about a few months ago now, I guess, has come up with an even better Brick Separator. Um, I have not used it, but I really, they, they swear it's better than anything on the market. It it's, can wedge between anything and break it apart. Um, there is... What I tend to use is a chisel. I have a wide range of chisels um, and, and pliers. When it's really stuck on there, I will use pliers a lot, different grips. Um, and then um, clamps. I'll use clamps. You see how, how uh, Jonathan there was in two sections. Yeah. So if I wanted to finally install that somewhere and glue those two sections together, uh, I, will, I would have to probably get a big clamp and clamp those two sections mm. together to really get that tight fit that, that makes it permanent. Um, so, What's yeah. going to happen to Jonathan after the Well, Jonathan and I were discussing that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we have some ideas. He thinks it's museum worthy um, and, and should be in an art museum somewhere, and I tend to agree with him. Um, so I don't know. Uh, we have some ideas. Again, stay tuned. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. He might become a permanent fixture on the ship, for all. Yeah, or, or bring him to the next cruise. I don't think Jonathan's coming it's on the next cruise. It's just going to be there. It's going to be that in the seating ship, player. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. Backstage. Yeah, exactly. I know some people were speculating about leaving something somewhere on the ship and seeing if it's here next year when we come yeah, back. Yeah, that would Just stand it up in the windjammer at one of the lines. Right. <laughs> This line's not moving. Yeah, this guy <laughs> needs a staircase, right? Just yeah, take one of those and that is new ship art. Put it in one of those. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Exactly. Right. It is a museum. Maybe like we could get it as a figurehead on the back. Or that. <laughs> under, yeah, under, yeah. Under, yeah. Under, yeah. under the, under the, under the, under the, under the Next time I'll build that. We'll build it. Like That's what Jonathan said, actually. Yeah. He wants to, he yeah. wants to get it up there. Have, no, don't yeah. have him in the photo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he has to have his arm around it. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. How much did Jonathan weigh? Weigh? Oh, this Jonathan. Just under 100 pounds. Wow. Not even, probably. Probably closer to 80. 100. Somewhere in there. Between 80 and 100. He's, he's hollow and all the way inside. So yeah, almost. Right, so that yeah. means it's, what, like two and a half boxes? 
Hmm. Probably, yeah. So if you actually made them filled in, it would be almost like proper weight for a person? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that requires math again. <laughs> but yeah, um, so actually, actually, really <laughs> close. It, it, would, be, it would be really close. The yeah. is uh, 1.02, yeah. so it floats in water just barely. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, you're it would right. probably be really close. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I tend to build everything hollow, though, uh, for a variety of reasons. Sure. Uh, doesn't need it, for a start. It doesn't need to be solid. Uh, I would use a lot of bricks, which would be expensive and heavy. Uh, so uh, I'm happy to go hollow. But, you know, when I'm working on bigger pieces, I will build structural beams inside, depending on the engineering that's required, uh, all out of Lego. But I will. Good question. Um, they had the giant X wing. Yes, um, in Times Square. Again, yeah, the big that, that has a steel internal structure. It does. Do you ever use anything like that? Um, from time to time, for safety reasons, if there's a, if it's really needed, I'll put some steel inside. Um, mostly not though. Um, my art usually doesn't require it. I mean, there's if if you were to take Jonathan, and please don't. But if you were to take Jonathan <laughs> off there and look into the pants, you'll see there's actually a tube uh, that runs down one of the legs. So. And it goes all the way to the foot. So at a later date, if we wanted to permanently install it, we could run a steel beam inside to keep him from tipping over, uh, okay. just in case. Actually, uh, reminds me. There was a question that we asked Randall Monroe last year that he was not able to answer. Oh, but great. you might be able to, oh. <laughs> which is, what is the collapse height of a Lego stack? Yeah, I know this. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's really, it's, it, I, I, we're talking a two by two. I, I believe is what yeah, what I've always. I'll read. take whatever you happen to yeah. know off the top. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it's over fifty thousand bricks easily. Wow! Is it? wow. Yes. Really? Um, That's pretty tall. But it's That's online. I know it's online somewhere because I just oh, okay. read it the other day. Oh. I uh, I was on a quiz show called Ask Me Another, oh, which yes. Jonathan participates in, yeah. and. Um, <laughs> this, uh, that I, I started doing, I knew I was going to be quizzed, yeah. I did not know what the topic would be, <laughs> so I was like, I better learn everything I can about Lego, Lego history, <laughs> um, and uh, so that was one of the facts I read, but I don't remember, it was, it was pretty impressive though. Okay, but it was in the tens of thousands of block range. Oh, easily, yeah, yeah. easily. Because so, so, so we, we built that sphere, and now I know a sphere is different, of course, yeah. but no issues from the weight there. I mean, yeah, because those are what, 8 millimeters high or so? Yeah, um, 9.6 millimeters high, 8 millimeters wide. Okay, so 9.6 times 50,000. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, that would be the tallest man-made structure in the world. Challenge <laughs> 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 right, yes, <laughs> You said you said you've got a hundred thousand bricks. So <laughs> <what's that? laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. And if you awesome. made if you made a, a scale model of uh, of the ship, would it float? Like, given a scale that this model. was yeah. Yeah. How big of a scale model? Was a full yeah, scale? Yeah, like full size. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Would it float? Would it float? This ship is made out of steel. Yeah. 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 This ship is heavy. Yeah. It's all. What's it? I said the ship is heavy. It would be if it Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's close enough. Structurally. Next time. Yes. Structurally, I would not want to be walking down the promenade. Independence of the Seas 2. <laughs> That's Lego the, edition. The, the next ship next year. Yeah. And you can replicate all of the performers in Lego. <laughs> yes. You can have the entire crews made of Lego. <laughs> all right. One question would be how your, your job is set for the next year. I guess I know what I'm doing for the next 12 months. Probably more than the ship comes to your Yeah, no problem. I, I know <laughs> relatively few full sized objects where the Lego version is cheaper than the real <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they say the component parts of a person is like $5 it's in materials. Like so that yeah, would be a lot more expensive. Well, that's a really gross mis- Kidneys worth more than $5. Well, yes. it's you have value $5. even just for the magnesium. <laughs> Take on the okay, that was Randall Monroe's wow. thing too. Well, yeah, on that note. <laughs>
sorry. I think we <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. I, I don't know when my next office hours are going to be, but uh, this is awesome. I'll we'll definitely do this again. I'm going to go grab some lunch. Yeah, Thanks for showing up, everyone. Okay, so that's fine. Thanks for having us. I feel like we should have a Lego challenge. Like, it's kind of open. You know, it's just free building. But it's, yeah, it's, but it's, it's morphing and it's really awesome. Yeah, 10 years. Yeah. I kind of hope it's kind of hoping someone, you know, with a fancy pants parades finds a way to build some fancy pants out of Lego. <laughs> those are those are not as flexible though. You know? I want to see someone. How would you wear it? Yeah, you need hinges or um, like an extra yeah. 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 Oh, maybe next year. There you go. Yeah. So when it's done, I, I've seen a life-size Halo costume out of Lego. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, and they just, they just, you know, have hinges in the right places, and yeah, it's pretty impressive. So, so it's possible. I'm gonna get two. Just saying. Challenge is out there. Challenge. Yeah, we so around 50,000 bucks, so maybe you could get, I mean you need, I think, you probably need what, probably closer to 65,000? Probably. To get taller than the bird? Yeah. Yeah. And Kara was like, <laughs> we'll work on it. Yeah. <laughs>